welcome back to my channel today so i'm gonna do another comparison video with this 50 millimeter 1.4 and the 85 1.8 i'm gonna this time i'm gonna do it with the full frame camera 60 canon 60 and an aps's camera the canon rebel t5 so i'm gonna do the the aps camera with both lenses first and compare them and then i'm gonna show you guys how it looks like with the canon 60 and I hope that this video will help you guys to make the decision which one you like better. And I'm just gonna show you side by side picture the uh, straight out from the camera and without editing. Okay, go! <laughs> so today I went on a hike with my um, college roommate Kira Olsen and she was actually modeling for my video today to compare these two lenses. So my model helped me to film the behind the scene video, but I wasn't able to get it back from her. So the only thing I can show you guys is the picture that I took with the two lenses. And I shoot every picture with the maximum uh, aperture. With the 50, I shoot it with 1.4 and the 85 with, uh, on the 1.8. And if you do not like, like being so far away from your model, I will suggest using the 50 on your crop sensor body because using the 85, you have to be like really far away to have a, have a um, full body pictures with your, your model. And here I'm going to show you guys more of the same framing uh, between the two lenses. I will show you guys the head shot right now and then the half body and the full body shot. And the same thing I will do with the full thing, Canon 60 later on, but right now it's just the crop sensor camera with these two lenses. So I would say even with uh, going down to f1.4, I still feel like the bokeh is more smooth and creamier uh, with the Canon 85 1.8 with all the shot in the crop sensor body. And now I used my uh, regular camera, the Canon 60 full frame camera to show you guys how these two lenses look like with the uh, full frame camera. And I really like using this 50 on the Canon 60 because I can see a lot more background uh, with with the, uh, in the whole image. So I really like this comparison because you can see how beautiful the tree and the hiking uh, area is here. And with the 85, it's really good for the portrait work. But if like traveling or something that I want to see more of the background, I would prefer using the 50 more uh, better than the 85. And uh, one thing about using the 50 is that it's really, it's kind of soft when using below f2 and on the aperture but some occasion like this it's just like one model and me i'm um, using the f1.4 is totally uh doable and i can use those images and i really like the bokeh too it's uh smooth and creamy but with the bokeh i still prefer using the 85 better So this is it for my comparison video. Um, overall, I feel like the 50 is more versatile. I can get more of the background and uh, it's more useful for the general use like traveling or events. And the 85 is really great and sharp and fast focus. Um, and I love how the creamy background is for portrait work. So it depends what you're using it for and with the same uh, with similar prices I would
probably um, get the 50 first and then get the 85 next if you can only have one prime lens for now <laughs> And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And here is more uh, images I show. I will show you guys. Uh, it's from the 50, and I shoot it with 1.4. Um, this is an edited picture, but the one before this, those comparison three, uh, pictures, they are not edited. They are straight out from the camera. So, and I will see you guys in my next video. Let me know what you think, and like my and subscribe my channel. Bye.